All right. How to curate Google My Business reviews for your Google Business profile. That will be the topic for today. How to curate Google My Business reviews for your Google Business profile. With that being said, it looks like the stream is up and running. My name is Chris Palmer. In today's how to curate Google My Business reviews for your Google Business profile video, what I'd like to walk you through is exactly how you can go about curating and crafting the perfect reviews for your business. Now, I'm not leaning towards the curation of reviews as in, you know, going out there and maybe purchasing reviews. You know, no, I, I'm not advising that. But what I am advising and what I want to share with you is a way to guarantee if you're going to coach maybe past clients or, or past customers, perhaps, if, if, you're, if you have the ability to maybe you're doing outreach emails or maybe you're sending them to a specific page after you've worked with them, whatever the case is, I want to walk you through how you can craft the best reviews for your business, for your Google business profile. And along with that, I'm going to walk you through a live way of gathering these and I'll give you some information as we go. Now, this is a stream, so I have a couple projects that I'm, I'm working on currently. So, of course, this is going to be over the shoulder. I'm going to be sharing with you for an actual project. Some details I'll leave out, but I don't want to waste any time. We'll get directly into it. So, the very first thing is you, you, you need to understand a couple of things. First and foremost, if you do go the route of, of curating uh, reviews, um, you know, there's a magnitude of services out there in the marketplace. Just please note for yourself um, and your business before curating uh, reviews for yourself or maybe for your clients if you're an SEO agency, make sure that you, you read up on this type of activity first. All right. Just just really be, be careful. All right. With that being said, um, what I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to I'm going to share with you how to grab the best reviews first and foremost, and I'll walk you through some of my process. So let's just say that you have a business, all right? In this case, in this instance, let's say you have a roofing business, right? Service-based business, it's going to be a roofing business. So how do you go about crafting perfect reviews? Well, to craft the perfect review, you need to first understand how the reviewing system works and, and know a few key points, which I want to point those out to you first, okay? Now, some of the key points are this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do roofing. And I like to go to big cities where I know that there's going to be a lot of a, a massive bunch of reviews. And the reason is, is very simple. So let's go to roofing Miami first and foremost. It's just the first thing that pops in my head. I'm from Florida. So I think Florida first. But the reason why we want to have a big pool like this right here, there's 446 reviews. And the reason why I want a large pool is for this reason here. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to look at these reviews and I want you to note my business owner, the person that I'm working on this for crafting some of these reviews, they're from California. So rule num rule nominally uno, right? The first rule of curating reviews is when you're looking to find perfect reviews, if you're here, make sure you're grabbing your reviews, right? To start crafting from another state, grab them from somewhere else, right? It's kind of like creating internal location pages. You know how you can change out headings and URLs and, and content within the page to make it a unique page in, in Google's eyes. That's the objective here. So if I have a business in California, I'm going to go craft some reviews based on ones that I find in Miami. So that's rule one is if, if your business is in uh, state A, go grab them from state B, a completely different state. Okay. So that's going to be tip number one. Tip number two is going to be this. Look for businesses that have a lot of reviews, right? I like to go to the bigger cities and, and work down the list, grab a couple, grab a couple bigger businesses that are in the same niche. And then what you're looking for is when you come in here and you go to the reviews, I want you to take a look at this screen. I don't know who this business is. It's just an example. Okay. But with that being said, as you can see here, Google actually sorts things first by the most relevant reviews. So as you can see, you have the most relevant, the newest, the highest, and the lowest. So, so first and foremost, right off the bat, I went to a completely different state and I'm looking for the most relevant reviews from the biggest pile, the biggest pile possible. This particular business owner has 446 reviews. Yes. Jackpot.
pot, right? And then the number one review, it's not the newest review. It's not the highest rated review. It's not the lowest rated review. It's the most relevant review, right? Bingo. That's what I want. So as we're going to start crafting these, you want to start grabbing some of the most relevant reviews. Now, this is quite common that you're going to see an image. Uh, there's a lot that you can do with uh, images and, and service-based businesses much like this. They're going to quote out a specific service. Now, I want to point these things out to you. This is crucial and important when curating reviews, right? Curating reviews. You can look that up, uh, that particular word. Uh, I can't say, but we're curating reviews here. Okay. Um, so with that being said, um, as you can see here, they're pointing out, uh, these particular words that are up at the top. Okay. We, we can call these entities. We could call these specific keywords. The reason why they pull these out is because numerous customers have gone in there and, and, and within their reviews more than one or two times have, have actually said the same exact phrase. Now the objective and the goal with your reviews because they're so powerful. Your, your mind would be blown of how powerful these remarkable really. But what I want you to point, what I want to point out to you is see how they're, they're making entity bubbles almost like with the image entities. If you take a look at these, right? If you have multiple customers saying the same thing, they're going to pull it out and, and they're going to attribute that particular entity, that keyword with your business. Now, the objective here is to get multiple business owners to not just say random words like, for this instance, project manager, angel, angel and supervisor and organized, but you know your primary keywords that you're trying to rank for? Let's just say that it's roofing in Miami, or let's say your primary keyword is uh, best roofer Miami or maybe a professional roofer Miami, right? You get the point here. Whatever the services are and the locations that you want to rank in, this is what you want to consistently have your customers saying. Also, you want to attribute your brand name. So if you're a business owner, like, oh, Brad's the best roofer in Miami, right? You want to get six or seven people to say that. You best believe your, your GMB is going to get a lift for best roofer in Miami. Okay. So this is the goal here. When curating these, you want to complete, you want to consistently repeat the same tasks or the, the same words, but not in some random order. You want to consistently say the same keywords over and over, but the ones that are most relevant to your business and the locations for your business. I, I, so that was like two tips in one. And now let's go ahead and start beginning. Okay. So this is an additive right here, this positive, almost irrelevant. Um, be, it, it, you know, they're, it, it's almost an additive. It, 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 it's unrelevant for what we're trying to do here. And then our main goal here is, okay, well, we have our one. What I generally do is I'll come inside of here. Okay. And then we're going to start working down our list. Okay. Now I need a specific amount of reviews. Okay. So what, what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and open up a spreadsheet. All right. So for this particular task, I really like, uh, Google sheets. And, and, and the reason why I'm really leaning towards, even for my SOPs, I'm leaning a lot more towards Google, um, is because a lot of these other programs, man, they don't work with anything. Like you have to have that program to work with it. Like, Everybody has Google. It makes it so easy. I don't wear a tinfoil hat. I don't think they're like tracking every little thing. And, and if they are, well, well good. <laughs> Great. Yes. My businesses that I worked with care about their Google My Business profiles and the reviews that they're receiving. So track away. <laughs> uh, in any case, what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to go ahead and just open up a sheet here. And the reason being is it's just going to be easier for me uh, to keep track of the amount of reviews that I have. Okay. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put that one in there and then we're going to move into the next one. Now, again, I'm going to other cities. All right. Um, I'm going to other cities that then my business owner is in. I'm looking for the most relevant reviews from a magnitude of different businesses. Okay. So this is going to be step number one. And again, I'm looking for the most relevant. All right. 
Now I want to go out, go go ahead and and lay out some more tips here. Uh, let me just take a look at this. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I put that. Okay, so let's come on over here. All right. So, uh, tip number one that we covered was okay. If your business is in, let's say California, go grab your reviews from Miami. Uh, tip number two is going to be sort by most relevant, right? Because relevance ranks. Okay. So sort by most relevant, which is a natural sort order, uh, for Google. So just make sure that you're grabbing the most relevant reviews. The next tip that I gave was taking a look at the entity bubbles or however you want to look at it. You know, again, this is from customers that are consistently saying the same key phrases. Make sure that these key phrases align with your business and the locations that you want to rank in. Okay. Especially having them consistently saying your brand name, your primary keywords, and your primary location. All right. The next element or the next tip that I want to give before we start curating some of these, and I'll walk you through the process of, of how I would change them out or curate them. And then we'll wrap this particular segment up in this video. Uh, but the next piece that I want to give you is when you come inside of here, as you can see, the top or most relevant reviews, and this is pretty much across the board, are always going to contain generally either images, edited images, like look at this, look at the top two most relevant reviews. Let's, let's go, let's go to another one. Let's say it's roofing. Okay. We're just going to use roofing because I'm, I'm doing roofing today. Um, let's say roofing, uh, pick a city, pick a city, pick a city. Okay. I probably spelled that wrong. I, I can almost guarantee it. 153. Here's 293 reviews. Again, I don't know who these business owners are. These are simply just examples. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside of here. We're going to click uh, and this one, so it didn't make it to the top one, but as you can see, look at image. All right. And this is going to be across the board, right? Watch. So we just did that one. So here's one now that's 153 reviews. All right. We're going to go to the 153. Look at first most relevant review images, right? Now, if we can make sure that those images match the services that we provide, let's say for instance, that it's roofing, right? If you do shingle roofing, what kind of pictures do you think you would want to use? pictures of you doing single roofing. Uh, if you're a professional, right? A professional, uh, roofing company, we're just going to use this example. Guess what kind of pictures you would want to use? You standing by your truck, right? Your work, your, your helpers or, or your employees, uh, maybe standing by the truck, you making not necessarily geotag, right? Spoofing it, but literally being at the location, um, and taking those images and uploading them geo coordinates are being tracked. So I, I hope that these tips have helped you as far as the curation process is concerned. But what I want to do now is I'll walk you through, uh, some of the curation of these reviews <clears throat> and here's what we're going to do. All right. Now curation or coaching, uh, however you want to look at it, it's always really good to help along the customer. Cause I, I get this a lot for my own business. You know, it's, it's like, Hey, Chris, you know, you, you did a great job, but like, what, what do I say? And you can't necessarily, you can't tell them exactly, but you can give them some specific keywords maybe to use, <laughs> right? It's just good SEO. All right. So moving on through this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and grab these particular keywords. We're going to bring this over here. We're going to go to number three. Okay. So now we have three very relevant, good looking uh, reviews. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just go inside of here then. All right. Control C. We're just going to go ahead and grab this one here and we're going to go into the drawing board. Now, how would we go about editing this, um, in order to fit our particular needs? Well, obviously one of the main things that we're going to do is we're going to swap out the business details, but note you've chosen the most relevant reviews from massive cities, right? Most people don't live in massive cities. They live in suburbs or by, you know, not everybody's in these giant cities where we're pulling these from. So these are the most relevant from hundreds. I mean, some of these businesses had 256, 443 reviews, and this is the top review. 
this is the most relevant for your niche. These are niche specific reviews, you know, so you don't want to change it much is what I'm getting at here, but you need to change out some, some viable details, including the brand name, obviously, right? But any co-occurring phrases, any primary keywords, locations, and brand name, that's what needs to be changed out. Almost common sense, but I, I just want to make sure. I know it's tedious and I know it's a lot of work, but you, you'll see massive reward. So with that being said, my name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions related to reviews or curating reviews, anything really at all, anything Google business profile or Google my business related, never hesitate. Always feel free. Go ahead and ask any questions that you might have in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next, how to get Google, my business reviews, how to curate Google business profile reviews video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.